Blessed Miguel Pro Juarez. Feast Day, November 23rd. Title, Miguel Pro Juarez, A Life Lived in Faith and Courage. In the heart of Guadalupe, Mexico, on a crisp January day in 1891, a bright star was born into the Pro Juarez family. They named him Miguel, a name that would one day echo throughout the land as a symbol of unwavering faith and undying courage. Miguel's early years were a blend of intense spirituality and irrepressible mischievousness, an unusual combination that endeared him to his family while exasperating them with his humor and practical jokes. As a child, he was known for his daring escapades, which often pushed him to the brink of near-death accidents and illnesses. But his vivacious spirit and zest for life were unmistakable. Miguel shared a special bond with his older sister, who chose a life of devotion in a cloistered convent. Her path served as an inspiration, igniting in Miguel a desire to discern his own vocation. At the tender age of twenty, he embarked on a journey that would lead him to the Jesuit novitiate in El Llano, Michoacán. His education progressed in Mexico, but in 1914, a storm of governmental anti-Catholicism swept across the nation, forcing the Jesuit order into exile in Los Gatos, California. In this time of crisis, Miguel Pro's character and determination shone brightly. From 1919 to 1922, he ventured to Nicaragua, teaching and nurturing the faith in a more peaceful environment. But the plight of his homeland called to him, and in 1925, he was ordained a priest in Enghien, Belgium. However, the political climate in Mexico had deteriorated drastically by then. In the land of his birth, Catholic churches were shuttered, and the faithful faced persecution. Bishops, priests, and religious were hunted down, imprisoned, or deported. The celebration of the sacraments became an act of defiance, punishable by imprisonment or death. Undaunted, Father Pro sought permission from his superiors to return to Mexico undercover and minister to the persecuted Catholics. He became known as the undercover priest who would appear in the dead of night, donning disguises that ranged from a beggar to a street sweeper, to baptize infants, hear confessions, distribute communion, or unite couples in matrimony. His courage knew no bounds. On several occasions, disguised as a policeman, he entered police headquarters itself to administer the sacraments to Catholic prisoners facing execution. Through secret meetings, an array of disguises, and coded messages to the underground Catholics, Father Pro continued his priestly work providing solace and spiritual sustenance to those in his care. The turning point came in November 1927 when an assassination attempt on the president of Mexico, Alvaro Obregón, left the president wounded but alive. This incident provided a pretext for the authorities to arrest Father Pro, along with his brothers Umberto and Roberto, accusing them of involvement in the assassination plot. For ten agonizing days, they languished in jail without trial. Then, on July 17, 1928, President Calles ordered the execution of Father Miguel Pro, ostensibly for his alleged role in the plot but in truth for his unyielding defiance of laws banning Catholicism. On that fateful day, as Father Pro was led from his cell to the prison courtyard, he blessed the firing squad and knelt in silent prayer. With unwavering faith, he refused a blindfold, standing tall and fearless, facing the squad with a crucifix in one hand and a rosary in the other. In a voice that resonated with profound conviction, he cried out, May God have mercy on you. May God bless you. Lord, thou knowest that I am innocent. With all my heart, I forgive my enemies. As the soldiers raised their rifles, he exclaimed in a clear, resounding voice, Viva Cristo Rey! Long live Christ the King! The volley of gunfire rang out, and Father Pro fell to the ground, his body riddled with bullets. A soldier approached, delivering the final, fatal shot to his temple. 
Father Miguel Pro's courageous journey ended on that day, but his legacy continued to inspire. At his funeral, an assembly of 30,000 mourners paid tribute to a man who had given his life for the faith. On September 25, 1988, Pope John Paul II beatified Father Miguel Pro, recognizing his unwavering dedication to the Church and his fearless defiance of oppression. Miguel Pro Juarez's life was a testament to the power of faith and the indomitable spirit of a man who used his natural gifts of determination and courage to advance the kingdom of God. His story serves as an enduring inspiration, urging modern Catholics to summon their own courage and employ their God-given talents and gifts in the service of a higher purpose. I recommend subscribing to the channel to receive daily inspiration from the saints, including stories about Blessed Miguel Pro Juarez. Show your support by sending blessings in the comments, and don't forget to share the video on your social networks to spread the message of faith and courage.